What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Dylan Grubb here, the Extreme Outdoorsman. If you guys are new here to the channel, make sure to go hit that subscribe button for me. Help me at 26,000 subscribers. I would really appreciate it. But me and my dad are actually just getting out here doing Inland Lake. It is around like 7 30, 8 o'clock at night. We are just getting out here after work. We figured we would come out here for the night bite. We were out here last week and absolutely wrecked them night fishing. We caught so many big largemouth bass. It was a lot of fun. So if you haven't seen that video, I'll leave it up here in the corner go check that one out but we we're just getting out here it should be super fun throwing around a bunch of different lures probably a lot of different vibrating jigs so we're really excited to be out here and it's always fun fishing with my dad but let's catch some big ones that i got dad's throwing a top of water right now oh <laughs> Fish on, guys. Good one. Thanks. There you go, guys. It's caught on a jackhammer flipping around these docks. I just put new 18 pound sniper sunline on there. Made just for uh, this uh, application or scenario here with a jackhammer. It's a nice one. He's probably a four pounder. We're going to throw him in the box and get our best five tonight. We're out here night fishing. We start a little early, and we're gonna throw one in the box. Fish on. Fish on. Sometimes with these jackhammers, guys, just don't throw them out and reel them in, let it go to the bottom. And buzz it off the bottom. That's what I just did. And as soon as I start reeling, he slack lined me. Good fish, a good three pounder. Now the one to go in the box for the nightly pitcher. There he is right there. Nice one. Got him on a jackhammer. Good fish, guys. Fish on. Holy crap. Fish on. Dang, it's a good one. Dang. It's the Dean Grub show tonight. There's three in the box. There's another three pounder. What I'm doing guys, I'm taking that green pumpkin jackhammer half ounce and uh, spotting them on active target group of fish. Throwing in shallow, but I notice fish are on a drop off, so I throw it out, let it go down to them and rip it off the bottom and start reeling slow and then speed it up like two or three reels. Do different things and that, that uh, gets them to strike. <laughs> Whoa! Fish on! I just tied on the same lure my dad was using. I've been throwing around some different colors. But fish on! Pretty good one too. Sweet. Decent guy, yeah. A small one, but he's got a big belly on him, that's for sure. Pretty cool, having a lot of fun out here. It's always fun getting out here at night. Seems like the bass always start biting right before dark. Rock. 
badass. Little guy. Rocky. These rock bass are always really fun to catch, guys. I caught a really big one out on the bay the other day. It was a tank. But just throwing those jackhammers. They love them out here. These rock bass always put up a good fight. Oh. <laughs> oh! I just seen that fish come to the surface. I cast it over there and bam. That was kind of cool. <laughs> Chunky one. Fish on. Starting to chew, guys. I know it's still right here. Fish out. I think it's a pretty good one. It's a bass, a giant. Long skinny one. Yeah, it is. Oh, I'm alive. We'll, we'll have four or five to fish on. Fish on. What's the secret? The last couple have been hitting it on the drop. Nice fish, good two and a half pounder. There. Got a black and blue jackhammer with a called a Ghost Havoc on there. It's kind of a pearl, whitish brown. Just let him throw it out like that, let it go to the bottom. I've been feeling hit it on the way down when it hits the bottom. Jerk it up and reel it slow like that. And give it a couple fast speed reels there. You hit the weeds, kind of speed it up. Usually they'll hit it. Well, guys, I finally caught one. My dad has been smacking them tonight. It's crazy. I was on fire the other night. I couldn't keep the fish off. But I've been throwing all kinds of different colors today. Black and blue, green pumpkin, fire craw, all kinds of different lures. And I just caught that one on a red vibrating jig. Um, I think the fire craw color, or no, it was the bluegill color. But pretty nice one, guys. Having fun out here. Like I said, it's always fun getting out here night fishing. You usually got the lake to yourself, so there's not a ton of pressure on these fish at night. Not a lot of people night fish, so it's pretty fun getting out here um, casting around. We usually fish till like midnight, um, two or three in the morning, just depending on how the fish is or how the bite is. But good one. Fish on, guys, that's through between the docks. Feels like a real big one. Big bass. Good one, guys. Real nice fish. Threw right in between the docks. And uh, it's on the windy side. And he drilled it. Nice fish. 
That's what happens out here when you throw jackhammers at night, guys. You get some really nice bass. He's good, probably three and a half, four pounds. He's a fatty. Fish on, guys. Big black and blue spinnerbait. Pretty decent one. Dandy. Black and blue. Booyah spinner bear with a big black blade. It gets him. Got some really nice fish tonight, guys. Get a chance to get out here. It's on fire in late July and August. The warm nights bring in a good bite. There's two good ones that we caught tonight. Using jackhammers, throw it out, let it hit bottom, zip it off bottom, and just vary up your cadence, your speeds, and everything else, and you'll catch some nice ones. Change up your colors. Like a black and blue and a green pumpkin, or a black and blue and black and blue trailer. I tell you what, you'll have a right. Use spinner baits. Good one. A bunch of fatties. <laughs> What's he doing? It's a real nice fish, guys. Night fishing's a riot, guys. I'm telling you. I think that's it. Yeah. All right, guys. We'll see you in the next video. There's a couple guys pulling in right now. They must have watched our last video. <laughs>